Valhalla's King of the Mud video dropped this morning. Probably one of the best videos I've seen for like a full-length longboard video. Check it out if you haven't yet. Freaking ridiculous. What are you doing? Huh? Quick update guys. I am going skateboarding. I just had an online group meeting with uh, my advertising group for my group assignment. Um, which went well. We talked about all the work we have to do that we're getting stuck into next week. That is awesome. I'm stoked as officially of right now my weekend begins. Okay, so after a small session at One Hill and some lunch, me and Dan now skating drifters. I'm gonna try and core some wheels and work on my form. Dan is just ripping, as always. This afternoon session with Dan was great. Uh, today I also grabbed my brother's copy of Doom. Uh, he's super hyped for it. It was one of the first first person shooters that he played and was the, one of the first video games that ever scared me as a child. Um, it was like Doom 3. Doom 3 freaked me the hell out. Uh, so now moving towards the end of the video, I'm going to jump into a quick Q&A and this is a Q&A that I feel awfully passionate about. Uh, Josh Cox asked, What are your thoughts on more advanced skaters paying out less advanced skaters on their abilities, style, and skating type? So this comes from a very personal place for me because when I started skateboarding and I was very new into skating, uh, there was a big trend in the Brisbane and Queensland community that is commonly referred to now as grom bashing. Grom bashing was a type of hazing that occurred to new and young skaters from more experienced skaters. Sometimes it was just soft joking, but in many occasions it was general, sometimes bullying. It might not have the intention of hurting someone, but it can dampen their love for the sport if they're surrounded by a negative community. In many ways, I hate that I still see this sort of thing occur. Me, personally, I've always had a goal to try and create a positive community for skateboarders, uh, no matter where I am. Being that when I started in Redcliffe, we were all surrounded by fresh, uh, still learning skateboarders when I started skating. Moving to the coast, where you have this broad range of people learning to skate, to people who are advanced and have sponsors, it was hard to see that there was a very big gap in the community. There were people being put down, and people who put people down, and it, it's a rough thing to see, and it was hard for me to deal with that, especially that I was put down at times when I first moved up here, because I wasn't the best skater, and I'm still not. So what I can say is that I really wish this hazing, this grom bashing would stop, but I think in many ways it's always going to be part of skateboarding in some way. I think it's been a part of skateboarding culture since the beginning, sadly. Um... I wish we could all put in effort to try and be positive people and really let new skateboarders grow up in a really positive environment that encourages them to come out and skate with more experienced skaters because that's going to be one of the best ways they learn. Um, but in many ways, coming into skateboarding in that grom bashing area gave me a little bit of a tougher skin when it came to being ridiculed about my skateboarding, ridiculed about the content I put out, gave me a tough enough skin to put these videos out. So my advice is that, one, try and create a positive community, but if not, work on having a tough skin because you can't make such a 
big systematic change to the community in a very short amount of time so you are no matter who you are you're going to face some sort of negative criticism and some sort of hazing uh throughout your skateboarding hopefully that helps josh keep at it man uh the community can be rough at times but if you work through that, it builds character and it'll do you well. Thank you guys so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. Uh, if you haven't checked out the Calville and Facebook page, I'm going to now be uh, uploading these videos on my personal Facebook page and the Calville and page. Find my stuff there. But if you want to find out when my videos drop first, hit that subscribe button or check in on YouTube at 6 p.m. Uh, Australian East Coast time and you will find my videos. So I will see you guys tomorrow.